All right, while I'm trying to get Bob out to my property to do some tuning, the orange flame is overheating again. Like always, this bad girl is bad. So, just thought I'd show you my test rig. This is how you bleed Sidewinder. You need the front really high. This um, super sophisticated uh, lift that I got here is working great. Um, and then what you do is this bolt is a, is, your, is a bleed bolt. And so you run it and then you crack this bolt. I had to take it out, I don't know, six, eight threads. And I waited close to 40 seconds to for cool, any sort of coolant to come. You can see this towel is blue here. That's a little bit of a coolant finally came out. And then now what I'm doing is I'm letting it cool and letting this get sucked back into the motor. And then I'm gonna come here and crack this um, and fill up coolant here so that it's in the, in the fill neck. And right in there. And, and then I repeat again on the bleeding of the sidewinder. Um, what I've done now is I've got this full. I've been, see how full that is? I've been working on this for a few minutes. I come back to the back of the sled and I give it a couple. Trying to move some fluid around. And look at that, it drops down. It's just so much air gets trapped in these things. So this is while it's cold, sled is freezing cold right now. And then again, I'll start it and warm it up and I'll go over to that bleed bolt right there and wait for coolant to come. And I thought I'd give it another tip. Uh, when I was doing it, it, it started spitting bubbles and I thought, oh, it's pretty good. Then it started putting out some coolant and I was like, good, I got it. Then I let, and then it still wasn't good. So then I let it open and it started pouring coolant and then I knew I had it. So don't be afraid to let that bolt run some coolant out of it. It's a much slower warm up. I'm in the trailer, loaded. It just goes up two degrees at a time while it's sitting here idling. That's kind of what you're looking for when you know the temperature isn't bouncing around, shooting to 180 or 190, those are air bubbles. I'll just run and just show how long it's sitting here idling.